All right, peeps. Let's see what these peeps are talking about. Hey. NBA players, NBA teams, you can, right? Um, I mean, yeah, the Lakers. Now, here's the hard question. On topic of women's sports, can you name any WNBA teams? <laughs> What's up, guys? We're here in East Village, New York City, and we're asking people if they support women's sports. But then we're going to ask them if they could name a WNBA player. Who's your favorite men's basketball player? Do you, do you have a favorite basketball player? Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry, okay. Do you have a favorite women's basketball player? I forgot her name. <laughs> I mean, women deserve equal pay. Uh, they do equal amounts of work. Can you okay. name any uh, WNBA players? No, I can't. Uh, I, I don't like sports a lot. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But I think you could probably name some NBA players, right? I could, and I think that's because it's a lot more publicized. What's your favorite? Who's your favorite basketball player? Who's your favorite uh, men's basketball player? Um, I think Shaq is really funny. Um, and now I have a question. Who's your favorite women's basketball player? Someone on the Utah's <laughs> women's basketball team. We're from Connecticut. So you, you guys can name one NBA player, I'm guessing, right? You I see what the hell's going on here. This is this is so funny, peeps. Now, here's the thing, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call it for what it is, okay? The WNBA players have been bitching and complaining about how low, uh, how their pay is so low, okay? Now. They started, uh, what was, what year? I think they said it was 1998 is when they started the league. So they're a subsidiary of the NBA. So they didn't even have a, a WNBA prior to 98. Okay. So they've been in existence for almost, uh, actually 20 years. They're creeping up on, uh, 30 years. So about 25 years, maybe. But anyways, Ever since they started, they have been operating at a, they've been operating at a negative, uh, net. What does that mean? They're not even making money. They're actually losing money. Matter of fact, I think the number or the figure is somewhere around $10 million a year that they're losing every year since they started. That's not good. Normally, when you do something like that and you lose money for the next five years, they shut that shit down. So what happens, peeps? What happens? Well, because the NBA makes, I'm just going to throw a number. They, it's in the billions. They make billions of dollars, right? I, I, I mean... They literally have to subsidize. What does that mean in English? That means that the NBA has to literally take the money that they make and give it to the NBA, the WNBA account because they're losing money. So they got to pay off all the debts and then turn around and take the money that the, the NBA makes to pay the players. So then you have, LeBron James, who's making, I don't know, I guess he's probably 15 million. Let's just throw a number out there. They usually are making 15 million versus um, whoever the star WNBA player is, because I don't watch WNBA. Uh, I forgot who she is. Uh, I don't think it's Brittany Griner. I think it was someone else. But I know, like, Lisa Spark. I think Lisa Spark. It's either Lisa Spark or Susan something. It's one of them. They make like, um, two, I think 500K. So $500,000. So they're complaining that they should be making more on par with the men. But what they don't understand is you have to make money. <laughs> you got to make money. And here's the thing. I just did this a couple of weeks ago. They only have 33 games. But again, so, so basically what's happening here is he's going out on the streets of New York asking men and women, can you name some favorite NBA players? And then turn around, can you name some favorite WNBA players? To prove the point that nobody cares about the WNBA. Not only that, women who are feminists, who strive for equal rights, don't even support the WNBA because they don't know nobody on the damn team. And their thing is, well, I don't like sports. Well, it don't matter if you like sports or not. You're a feminist. You want equal rights. Women are trying to play a sport. They're not getting paid. You should be lobbying. So how do you do that? You need to 
get your fellow feminists go to these games so you can start doing revenue or some of you feminists may be into the money y'all might be rich start funding the WNBA so they're not losing money every year and they can get paid more so that's the story let's watch you guys yeah, can I do can that. Name an NBA player, yeah. Well, can you name it? Can either you name a WNBA player? No, I cannot name a WNBA player. Not even one. Like, come on, dude. WNBA. I can name women's soccer players. Give us a few women's soccer players then. Uh, this what's her name? Oh, Rappy Gnome. Okay. Uh, Hope something. Okay. The the goalie. Um. That's about it. One who's trapped in Russia right now. I forget her name. Do you know what I'm talking about? That's right, yeah. I'm gonna give you her first name and let's see if you can get the last name. Ready? Brittany Spears. <laughs> Not a basketball player, but good try. They're both playing the same sport. Women are equal to men, so I don't see why not. Can you name at least like any any players, any WNBA players? No. Damn, and I know one. Off the top of the head, it's not gonna come off. Who's like a famous basketball player that you know of, a men's basketball player? I mean, all I can think of is Michael Jordan, to be honest. But the, the hard question is, can you name a women's basketball player? No, I actually can't. What's the WNBA team that plays here in New York? Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, I have no it's idea. The New York... Starts with an L? Statue of... Oh, is that like Liberty or something? Liberty, yeah, New York Liberty. And the Liberty plays... NYC. Right? Great. Yeah. So can you name five more teams? Uh, five more teams for us? Can you can you name it? Oh I don't I don't know. <laughs> do you think women's sports should uh, get paid more, get more recognition? What do you guys think? For sure, like we deserve equality, so definitely equality. should. What That's about the problem. WNBA team that plays here? You know, you guys are are you guys New Yorkers? You were, I am like, a New Yorker, but I didn't know I didn't even know. You don't need and WNBA players? No, I really don't. I mean, like, I, I know their faces, but I'm terrible with names. What about you? You think, can you name any, any of them? I could either. I'm, yeah, I'm just as bad at I have terrible memory, so. Boom, troll, troll, I see. So, I, I get that, Pete. That's just so funny. That's, that's sad. So, let me just say this in, in response. I'm all for the WNBA because uh, women need a platform as well to play, especially in sports. Now, contrary to belief, people think that, uh, well, they don't advertise. They don't advertise the NBA either. Matter of fact, does anybody even know when the NBA sees, unless you are a diehard, diehard NBA fan, nobody knows when the NBA season starts. I only know because, actually, I don't even know no more. It used to be Halloween. I think I think it's like the 28th of October, <laughs> but um, but again, they don't advertise for the NBA. Like all this summer, have you heard, seen any advertisement for this coming season's NBA? You haven't. So they don't advertise the 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 NBA. They don't, they don't advertise hardly any sport. They don't even advertise football, right? So. My thing is this, the problem why the WNBA isn't getting paid is because not enough people go to watch. If people would actually take time on it, listen, if you're a supporter of women and women rights, you got to support the women. You got to go to the games. You got to go to the concerts. You got to go to the movie theaters. You can't sit here, call yourself a feminist, but then don't even participate in what women like to do. That to me doesn't even make any sense. Because you have to contribute and support because they're not getting paid that much because, again, they're operating at a loss. Peeps, they're operating at a loss because nobody goes and sees the game. And I will tell you this, the do you think, think about this for a second, because I know someone's going to say, well, a man owns both businesses. Do you think men go around owning businesses and love losing money? No. They're doing any and everything that they can to get uh, to get this to get to get the team out there. They've actually tried uh, promoting the WNBA a lot. Uh, one by going because they used to be on NBC and they used to do uh, ESPN, NBC. But then for some reason they got rid of uh, those two ch uh, stations. Because see, here's the thing: stations will only play what's popular and what's making money, right? So then they ended up going to Lifetime. I remember this. They was on Lifetime. Some of you Lifetime fans probably 
remember this. Matter of fact, uh, while I got it up, let's see. NBA lifetime. I want to see. Um, yeah. So, I just want y'all to see this because I want y'all to think of See, I know about the WNBA. So, the WNBA was on Lifetime, 1997. Well, okay, okay. So, they've they been here um, four seasons, right? Uh There you go. The Houston Comets won the, the won the first ever WNBA championship. So they've been around longer than uh, nine. They probably got started in ninety six. So, so they was on Lifetime. Peeps, who watches Lifetime? Think about that for a second. Who watches Lifetime? Peeps, who watches Lifetime? Women. But I guarantee you anything that those women turned away when they saw the the game instead of supporting their team. Because a lot of women watch Lifetime. It's actually marketed towards women. But y'all sat there and turned away. You didn't support it. If you don't support it, it's not going to make money. And the players get paid very little. So, yeah, peeps. Um... <laughs> That's all I want to say. I just I don't want I don't want this to come off as a hate speech or anything like that, peeps. My wonderful May May paper wall. I want this to come off as a, a hate thing because I think it's a good thing. Matter of fact, now I want my personal opinion. I actually like the college, the women's college basketball. Matter of fact, they actually they're when it comes to ratings, the college uh, basketball games actually rate higher than the. Um, WNBA. I'm not gonna get into that note. But I like women's sports. I actually watch uh women tennis. Very fascinating and sexy. <laughs> but listen, I'm all for women. I want women to have sports because they deserve it. Hell, I think even um everyone knows uh Ronda Rousey, uh MMA. When and that's becoming more popular too. I'm actually glad, and I think that's a sport that a lot of women are going to start going into. Is that they don't do boxing that much, but the mixed martial arts, yeah, I'm all for that. Anyways, peeps, let me know what y'all think about the WNBA. What do they need to do to improve it to make women actually watch it? You know, let me know in the comments. I'm out. Peace.